Our first guest tonight is an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony-nominated actress you know from Up in the Air, the Pitch Perfect movies, and HBO Max's Love Life. She stars in the film Alice Darling, which opens exclusively in AMC theaters nationwide on January 20th. Please welcome back to the show our friend Anna Kendrick, everyone. <laughs> I want to ask about the movie and a lot of other things, but I especially want to ask before we get started. You just did Sean Evans' show, Hot Ones. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. So you're still in the recovery I, period. I might still be on Neptune. Like, yeah. I might, I might watch this back and be like, that happened? I went on the show? So I did it as well. I think this is the best photo of how I was feeling when I did it. Um, yeah. Was it, how remarkable did you find the experience? Um, yeah, uh, life altering yeah. is what it was, yeah. And I know that part of the fun of watching the show is sort of watching people in distress. And I will say, I loved your episode. Thank you. Because you are suffering so I'm much. I'm so. You are really going through so it. So upset the whole time. Yes, and I think that um, I got mine. Is yeah. like, yeah, karma's a bitch, Anna, because <laughs> yeah. I, I suffered so much. It's a sort of remarkable construction because I did find I was answering questions probably in a way that I would not have. Yes, it is I think I was like using words that I don't normally <laughs> use. I was like, I was like, can I speak French? Like if I just tried, would it work? <laughs> well, there you go. I'm very excited uh, to see that. I'm very excited about the fact that you just finished uh, directing your first film. Yeah. How did you uh, like the experience? <laughs> It kind of came out of nowhere, and I had the time of my life doing it. It was so much fun. I loved it so much. Um, it was also like the first time that I've dealt with the budget in a real way. Um, I kind of didn't know that the, when even when you're the director, it's kind of like weird used car lot rules where no one will tell you a, like a hard number. Uh -huh. So I so I started to like read facial expressions. Like when I would ask for something, it would be like, "Ooh, was that like a?" a wince that means $200 or like five grand? Uh -huh. What are we talking about here? And like, so, and sometimes I would be like, if I'd known that like that meant 10 grand, I wouldn't have asked for it. Like, yeah. it's fine. like cancel it, cancel it, it's fine. It's I, sometimes, I remember once there was something where we were like, we would love to get a possum. And they were like, please get a raccoon. <laughs> and that's how we found out. Like possums, you gotta pay through the nose for, but a raccoon. Really? Yeah. yeah, raccoon. You just put like a garbage can out, and they all just show They'll up. They'll just do. They'll just yeah. Do it. yeah, they're easy. But yeah. possums are like divas. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not getting out of bed for less than twenty. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no, thank How? you. Yeah. So that I know what you mean. Like it's very. Sh now this is a true story. Uh, were you aware of the story before you read the script about it? Yeah, I sort of knew the story. So the story is, um, it's yeah, based on this crazy thing that happened in the 1970s. Um, a woman went on the dating game, the mm -hmm. game show, the dating game, and sh the person she ended up picking turned out to be a serial killer. Very yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's just this, like, yeah, completely insane story, and it's like kind of like it so captures your imagination because it's like, who am I on a date with? You know, <laughs> right. like. Um, it could kind of be anybody. Yeah. Have you ever in your life had a moment where you were dating someone where you thought, this is a red flag? Uh, when I was like 21 or something, I, I went on a date with a guy. We'd, we'd met at a party and we talked on the phone a little bit. And I went on a first date with this guy. And at the end of the date, he, he like w seemed very shy. And then he handed me um, a piece of paper and it was a poem about me, okay, um, which is a big move for a first yeah. date. A really intense move. And and it like on the one hand, I was like, maybe that's sweet. But he'd done that thing that you do, like if, if you're doing like an elementary school project about pirates or something, <laughs> where he like burned the edges of the paper oh, yeah. <laughs> to make it look like old timey. <laughs> And this should have been a red flag. Yeah. So, I, so was he saying like I wrote this about you in a past life? Like. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah we've been together through the ages <laughs> or something. I did spend the next like three months breaking up with him. Yeah. Like I, I, I didn't just like ghost him, and I, I probably should have. Sometimes people need to get ghosted. Yeah. Because I was just like trying to break it slowly to him for like a really long time. That I, I'm no thank you. You should have given him like one of those burned edges. Like yeah, I found my, a treasure my, map. My past. Self also rejected you. Yeah. Now, uh, 
I, I have heard that you did not watch old episodes of The Dating Game uh, growing up. Like, I think sometimes I watch them on TV, but you have a favorite dating show that I think is my favorite as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm obsessed with Love is Blind. Love is Blind is a I special. It's all I want to talk about. Like, I don't want to keep doing this interview. Whoever just wooed, I want to talk to you about <laughs> Love is Blind. That's like now, all. Now, I have something to admit. I only watched the first season. Was the second season as exceptional? The second season was wonderful. The, this last season, season three, uh -huh. is really something, Seth. Okay. You really got to get on. I don't know why we didn't get back on the horse. This sounds like a real uh, solid uh, review. I'm like jealous of you <laughs> that you get to experience season two and three. <laughs> I'm very excited for that. I have so much more to ask you. We'll be right back with more from Anna Kendrick, everyone.